Everywhere you look, the need for energy and infrastructure development seems to be increasing at an exponential rate. Future demands for all types of energy will require new methods of utilizing our natural resources to power the world's growth and provide for an ever-expanding quality of life. The mining of the Earth's minerals occurs throughout the U.S. and worldwide. Mining is an economical, efficient way to meet our growing energy, construction, and personal needs using existing technologies. The mining of raw materials in the United States is the foundation of our standard of living and results in the manufacturing of thousands of products we all use on a daily basis. The economic impact of mining is tremendous and fuels our growth and development. As the demand for raw materials increases, more people are going to be needed to operate and manage the mines around the world. Highly trained individuals in the fields of mine management and operation will apply their expertise in this essential field. Well, the opportunities for management positions in coal mining uh, are, are very numerous because there's a severe shortage of workers, especially in southwestern Indiana. And these would include uh, opportunities in administration, uh, management, uh, mechanical maintenance, uh, other areas such as operations and electrical maintenance. Uh, some of the job positions would include such things as everything from surveying and, and you know, positions dealing with hydraulics uh, to HR people, purchasing, warehousing, uh, operations positions, pit bosses, face bosses, uh, you name it, and, and uh, the job is there. New technology is being developed to maximize the efforts of mine operators, and specialized education will be required to fill future leadership roles. Vincennes University's Mining Technology Program is training the leaders of tomorrow and equipping them with the tools they'll need to succeed in this challenging and dynamic field. VU graduates will use their knowledge to extract raw materials from the ground that will be used in building infrastructure and supplying future energy needs. The mining of coal in southwestern Indiana, for example, for use as fuel by electrical power plants is cost-effective because it uses our existing infrastructure and technology. Every person in the United States utilizes seven and one-half tons of coal each year, mostly in the generation of electricity. Modern power plants produce abundant electricity for our homes and businesses and virtually eliminate the harmful emissions caused by burning coal through the use of low sulfur coal, sulfur dioxide removal units, and other technologies that protect our environment. Indiana has approximately 57 billion tons of unmined coal, 17 billion tons of which are recoverable using existing technology. Based on current production rates, this amount of coal should last more than 500 years. Coal generates the majority of electrical power in the United States, and virtually all electricity in Indiana comes from the burning of coal. With clean coal initiatives and coal gasification projects already underway, the U.S. can become more self-sufficient and less dependent on foreign oil. Aggregates mined in Indiana in the form of crushed limestone, crushed dolomite, sand and gravel are used in the construction of buildings, homes and highways. Aggregates are produced from 265 surface and underground mines throughout Indiana. These mines employ over 2,700 full and part-time workers. Each year, about 14 tons of aggregate are directly or indirectly used by each resident of Indiana. The average new home requires about 400 tons of aggregate during construction. In addition, pulverized limestone and dolomite play a key role in the preservation of clean air by helping to remove sulfur compounds from stack gases at Indiana's power generating stations. Chemically pure forms of limestone and dolomite are essential ingredients in many plastics, paper products, insulation, carpeting, roofing, and glass. High quality Indiana limestone has been used in the construction of many college and university buildings all over the country and for buildings including the National Cathedral, Washington Monument, and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., limestone is the first choice due to its durability and beauty. Aggregates in all forms are an important part of Indiana's economy. In the United States, mining employs 270,000 people with an additional 3 million people employed in related fields. Mining contributes a half trillion dollars to the U.S. economy each year. 
33 billion dollars of minerals and processed products are exported each year by the U.S. There are thousands of job openings in mining worldwide and the demand for qualified people to fill those jobs shows no signs of decreasing. Jobs in mining command high salaries for qualified people and can easily amount to hundreds of thousands of dollars more than other industries over the course of your working life. Furthering your education can make a significant impact on your earning potential and quality of life. And while it's true that miners receive a very good income, mine management personnel are at an even higher level. Those with master's degrees can earn $18,700 more per year on average. Education truly is the key to your future. Modern mining uses computers and satellites to locate and plot mineral deposits, design mine layout, and even operate massive mining equipment in both surface and underground mining operations. The net result is that all mining is safer than ever before. Technology has enhanced efficiency and safety in mining to the point that today's miners have fewer injuries than your average grocery clerk. Mines in the U.S. are regulated by MSHA, the Federal Mine Safety and Health Administration, whose mandate is the safety of those in and around the mines. In Indiana, the Indiana Bureau of Mines plays an integral part in maintaining a mine rescue station as well as training and certifying the people responsible for the safety of the underground miners. Safety in the mining industry has really improved during the past five years. It started with the company's understanding of the actual work processes and how to uh, work safely. And it also took our employees to buy into the process. So now we have a joint ownership in the overall process. We've seen uh, safety improve tremendously. Because the demand for trained and qualified personnel is so high, the chance for advancement is greater in mining than in many other industries. This is especially true for those who continue their education with a four-year degree. Openings exist today in mine administration, management, mining technology and engineering, and mine operation. Also, new technologies such as coal gasification will create even more opportunities for those with the education and desire to succeed. Opportunities for uh, new management positions um, are going to be great over the next uh, several years as our uh, industry expands and we have uh, a lot of our older miners that's going into retirement and with that expansion and retirement there are going to be a lot of opportunities for, for new, new managers in our industry. To get the education and training you need to succeed in the field of mining you need a school that understands the demands of the industry and how to meet those demands. That school is Vincennes University, one of Indiana's premier learning institutions widely recognized for leadership in innovation and delivery of a successful educational experience.